Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Definitive Wrestling International right now, episode 25. This is DWI Volume 191. I'm your host, Alex Green. I got my co-host in the booth with me. Anthony Devlin, how's it going? And this is going to be an incredible matchup. Yeah, this should be pretty uh, interesting to say the least. It's the modern day shaman taking on the sadistic flesh master. And they go right at it, just beating each other. Forearms to the face, side These of the head, turnbuckle. The modern day shaman, Garrett Adams, almost taking offense to the Fleshmaster's moniker, the sadistic Fleshmaster. He wants to be the most sadistic wrestler in DWI. How family friendly are these guys? Just, just out of curiosity, uh, the flesh master, the, the, the modern day shaman, the sadistic one, like what, what? These are two violent, hard hitting competitors. Is it? Uh. And the flesh master in control of Garrett Adams here in the opening matchup of DWI right now, episode twenty five. So like H and R puffing stuff. These guys are out of that. And oh. did you see that? Jesus. Did My you goodness. see that? I'm I'm shocked that he is not split open. His face just bounced off the steel ring post and then he fell and his head bounced off the concrete floor here at the village shops. These two men really don't like each other. It appears that way, doesn't it? It certainly does, that's to say the least. And and me and you both familiar with how uh, violent and intense the Flesh Master is, but neither one of us know much about Garrett Adams. Oh no, he's a he's a bit of a strange individual. He uh, like the Flesh Master is into the pain. So it led him into the uh, realm of wrestling, professional wrestling. He enjoyed taking a beating and uh, delivering one. And he said it over and over, embrace the pain. Embrace the pain. If you say so, buddy, but uh, it's, that's wrestling. And the unique submission maneuver from the modern day shaman, what would you call that one? Painful. That looks painful. And the flesh master trying to turn it into a pin only gets the two count. Okay there, you've blown out my eardrums and everybody else's speakers. And the modern day shaman shoots off the flesh master into the corner. Flesh master moves. Oh. And a springboard leg lariat? I would say so. And the flesh master's in control here. Vicious knife edge chop. Oh, you hear that echoing through the whole building. Oh, my chest hurts just seeing that. And Garrett Adams giving him right back. He's posting up for him. He's like, sure, go ahead, take take a shot. And you can just hear these chops popping. Ooh. Oh, he dropped them a little bit there. The ropes kept him up, so he's giving him some forearms. I think he's over the chops. And this match is hard hitting. Look how red Garrett Adams' chest is from those chops. Modern day shaman asking what Fleshmaster has. Fleshmaster <laughs> answering with that overhand chop. Oh, and he oh. chopped him while he was laying on the ground. Uh, 
This has been a very sadistic matchup. Interesting to say the least. And the Flashmaster going for a signature butterfly suplex. He nails it. Follows it up with a huge elbow drop. Garrett Adams, modern day Shamer, kicking out at two. Referee Ray Riviera down there getting a count. Oh. Garrett Adams tried to get out of that one, but the Fleshmaster wasn't having any of it. Hits him with the leg drop. To no avail. Nope. Oops. You mine. Now these two seem to have really taken a disdain for one another. Garrett Adams saying he's the most sadistic wrestler in DWI. I feel that it's the modern day shaman just trying to create some buzz for himself here at DWI any way he can. And he was able to go to Fleshmaster in with the whole, I'm more sadistic than you. Would you want to wrestle a guy that was trying to just be more sadistic than you? No. That was beautiful. Leg Lariat. And the Fleshmaster just taking Garrett Adams' head off. Garrett Adams trying to reverse, and Fleshmaster punches him right in the face for it. Did you see that? Now, what you've been in the ring with the Fleshmaster just as much as I have. What do you think about being in the ring? with the sadistic one well it's pretty straightforward like I just see he j wants to chop you and kick you <laughs> um, maybe uh, doesn't seem like there's anything to um, here we go just as I say that oh my god the flesh master right on his dome piece and I think flesh master is no longer with us Garrett Adams could have just ended this matchup right here. <laughs> Thank goodness Fleshmaster moving there. Although I have no love for him, I don't want to see him uh, hurt. That was pretty nasty. And he follows it up with an elbow drop. Both men struggling to get to their feet here. DWI Volume 191. Yeah, but then I guess you got to be careful for moves like that. I mean, he's going to pull it out. He's going to... And Fleshmaster going after the modern-day shaman staff. Uh, Garrett Adams taking offense to it. He locks it in. Oh. Oh, what's this? And Fleshmaster lands on his feet. And what has he got here? A huge torture rack into a neck breaker. This should be it. That was huge. I don't believe the modern day shaman saw that coming. And the flesh master is up on the top rope. Oh. Top rope leg drop. That's and a wrap. That's it. What an incredible match of DWI Volume 191. Opening match of DWI right now, episode 25. Man, I'll tell you what. Scary biscuits. Either way you cut it. And that was a vicious matchup. They were blasting each other. If you see their chest from the chops, that was hard hitting. More chops in that one than in a butcher shop. Your winner, the Sadistic Fleshmaster, one half of the Sinful Alliance. What do we have here? Oh, no. In the second matchup, DWI Right Now, episode 25. The humongous human wrecking machine monster against Nick the Tank Abrams. And Nick Abrams giving up over a foot in height. Oh, yeah, for sure. This kid is a tremendous athlete. Great shape, always in the gym. At... And he's getting in the face of Siren. You know Monster's going to take exception to that. Siren's telling him to get back and wrestle. Yeah, I was going to say as of 
they're talking about who looks better than who it's too much uh, as I was just about to say Nick Abrams as of late has taken kind of a uh, different attitude a little bit more cocky much more confident in his ways uh, and right there he uses his agility to get get away from the human wrecking machine uh, he's got that uh, a little bit of uh, I'm not sure if it's cockiness or confidence but the attitude but change yeah. we've seen. But he definitely has it in abundance as of late. In the famous words of Tony Devlin, he went from clean cut to all cut to clean. Oh, I said that at some point. He said words. In monster. Seven foot tall, 385 pounds, former DWI heavyweight champion. Yeah, Nick Ambrose out there talking to the audience of, about how he's in tremendous shape and monster has a belly. Or a keg, as he put it. He's trying to sneak away, but oh! Monsters had enough. Didn't get too far. Yeah, the, the, the short arm clothesline for his trouble. Got away from the first down, but not the second or the third. And he just took his head off. That was the best thing he could have done for himself right there. Was scurry out like the rat that he is. I'm out. How's his face look, he asked? Still jaw jacking with the fans, jaw jacking with Siren. And Monster just launches him into the ring. He's talking about how he looked better than everybody. He was asking how his face looked and got chucked for his trouble. Taunting and insulting the fans uh, here at the village shops. Two, three. I want you to apologize to all of them for what you've been saying. And Monster demanding an apology for the fans. <laughs> He resists, and so he receives more turnbuckles. Tell them how sorry you are to make you watch you wrestle. I'm sorry the guy saw the... Oh, <laughs> He's sorry that monster is so ugly. And Siren taking her signature selfie here at the village shops. And her dad, monster, just inflicting punishment on the tank, Nick Abrams. That is a humongous arm coming across your back. Like that that young man, Nick Abrams, has a pretty big back. And Monster's arm makes it look like, well, not big. He's saying apologize. He's demanding it again. The boot to the face. A second one, Nick Abrams fighting back. He's trying. I mean, how do you gain game plan for a seven foot tall 385 pound giant and he's just unloading on monster everything he has punches kicks I don't think anything can prepare you for stepping in the ring with monster you don't realize how large he is you don't realize how big seven foot almost over, over 300 pounds. 385. Yeah. Almost that, 400. That, that <laughs> you, you really don't realize until he grabs a hold of you. And then you're like, why? Bad life decisions have led me to this. Position. Monster pushing the referee that he better be careful. That'll be a disqualification. Nick Abrams refusing to break the hold. Delivering those shoulders in the corner. Trying to knock the air out of the big man. Bringing him down to his knees. Oh. And I'm sure Nick Abrams learned this armbar at the Academy of Wrestling Sciences at Definitive Wrestling International. But there is no amount of training that can prepare you for seven feet, 385 pounds, and monster the trying to make his way up here. The humanity, it, 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 the sheer power that this man possesses naturally is frightening on, on so many levels. Look at this. Nick Abrams himself is 245 pounds. He, he looks like a child. He's being literally manhandled right now by the monster. Giving up 150 pounds and almost a foot in height to monster. Fans, if you've never seen Monster Live, it is well worth the $5 it costs to come to Definitive Wrestling International. And Monster in control here.
the, the audience taunting Nick Abrams, telling him to go get Monster, go get him. <laughs> well, he spent so much of the match taunting them. And Monster throws him in the corner. Huge oh. splash. I see his spirit leaving. And Monster has the signature choke slam here. This could be it. He said, but first apologize. Oh, well, there you go from the horse's mouth himself. He is ugly. Oh, he escapes the choke slam. And Nick hits him with a signature spear and monster. DDT. This oh, could be it. Couldn't take him off his feet with the spear, but follows up with a DDT, takes him down. And he oh. just hit a Samoan drop on the seven foot tall human wrecking machine monster. What he could hit of it, he definitely did hit. That's the first time I've ever and he seen just, And he just said he lied. He didn't apologize. He's better looking than everybody, especially Siren. I look better than you. I smell better than you. Oh, man. And he is really fired up after that Samoan drop, but he is spending way too but much time gloating. Yeah, he does not realize that uh, you haven't pinned the man time man. is not on his side. And, oh, I'm and sure he's not going to be pleased. And Monster's right behind him. He has him by the throat. Oh my goodness. And no one kicks out oh. of that, Tony. No one. Look at that. And that is that. Your winner in this matchup. Good. The seven foot tall. 385 pound human wrecking machine. Monster. Monster. And Siren enters the ring to celebrate. Nick Abrams left lanes dead center. The monster saying, get him out of my ring. Siren is kicking him out like yesterday's news. And that's that. What a Again, your winner. The seven foot tall. Monster. Are you enjoying DWI right now? Want to be a part? Well, hit us up on Facebook and become a wrestler here at the Academy of Wrestling Sciences. And we're back in the third matchup of Definitive Wrestling International right now. Episode 25 features the hard-hitting former DWI Tag Team Champion, Alan Worley. Alan Worley. Is the, uh, and he's a long-time uh, competitor here in DWI, but he's like the seasons. Only here once in a while. Oh, and he's taken on the Rebel Gorilla, David Guevara, the number one contender for the DWI Heavyweight Championship. And this is going to be a hard-hitting matchup. He, he, and Worley asking for music. To take his shirt off. In a very rare mood. He, he, de he usually doesn't show this much personality. If I do say so myself, usually he's pretty straightforward angry type but this is definitive wrestling international volume 191 this is the seven year anniversary maybe he's gotten some anger management some therapy a softer side a more a more uh, accessible side a more fun side of Alan Worley Alan Worley trained by Ray Ayala David Guevara trained here at the the Academy of Wrestling Sciences at DWI and this is going to be hard hitting. Yep. And you know how you know it's going to be hard hitting? Because Alex Green has said it twice. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, I've been in the ring with both of these men. David Guevara has made me tap out. And I've pinned Alan Worley in a social media championship triple threat. So I know how hard hitting these two can be. And Worley with a big knee to the gut. Hook, hooks in the front face lock right here. What is he going for? And the Rebel Gorilla trying to fight out. He's hitting the spine. And he just raked the laces across laces. his face. Yeah, laces across the eye. It's not feel good. European uppercut in the corner. Followed by a, another 
second European uppercut. And what are we going to see here? Huge clothesline. Oh, big clothesline. Big clothesline. And he drops the elbow on the Rebel Gorilla. Now, Alan Worley, a former tag team champion, bad company with Ray Ayala. The Rebel Gorilla, David Guevara, former DWI heavyweight champion, one of only eight men to hold that belt. And two-time tag team champion with the Rebel Gorillas uh, with his tag team partner, Lightning Monroe. And there is Alan Worley, was introduced into that turnbuckle and uh, face first into the canvas and then gets a right hand in the head. David Guevara has Worley rocking right now. Uh, Worley with the gut punch. Oh, big backdrop. Ooh, that's a lot of weight coming down. That does not feel good. And Alan Worley in bad shape here. David Guevara winding up. Sizing him up and returns the favor of the clothesline. How about two for your trouble? And Worley's like, I am out of here. And Alan Worley saying, I am done. He's done, he says. <laughs> is, he, is, he, is he forfeiting the match? He's saying he might. Andrew, the most handsome ref, Jensen, was telling him to get back in the ring. David oh, Guevara no. having none he of it. shaking the ropes while Guevara was on his way out to escort him back in. And Alan Worley is in rare <laughs> Form. Keeps yelling, I said time out. Oh, knee to the spine. Cutting off the oxygen, applying pressure on the back. Um, you know that that does not feel good. That absolutely does not, especially coming from somebody like an Alan Worley or David Guevara. Puts that weight on there, starts wrenching your neck, starts putting you to sleep slowly. David Guevara, this might be over here. You can only survive having your oxygen cut off for so and long. Morley using the ropes for extra leverage. And he just stomps right on his face. He's a He's now taunting the audience, taking his attention off Dave Guevara, which I was about to say is a bad idea, and you can see why that was. Oh, and he then he rakes his eyes to take back over. Back and forth action here at the Village Shops in Ruskin, Florida. Referee not seeing any reason to admonish him. Just go ahead and take a handful of eyeball. It's cool. He's enforcing that rule right there to break the hold by five. At least we know he can count. Oh, big chop. And David Guevara having none of it, and he winds up. Big knife edge chop. Followed by a second. Shooting Worley into the corner. And a huge splash. And look at Alan Worley. He might be out on his feet. What is going on right here? And he has no idea where he is. He had no idea. He was in complete autopilot. Only a two count. It looked like the referee might have got kicked on the kick out. What a matchup here at DWI right now, episode 25. You know, he is a referee. Big slam. And off the ropes. Drops that, that leg right on the throat. That's what, 275 pounds of Rebel Gorilla coming down on your neck? That's a big guy. There's a reason he's the number one contender for the DWI Heavyweight Championship. There's a reason he's a former heavyweight champion and two-time tag team champion. He's a formidable opponent in those ropes, between those ropes, for sure. That that man is game any day of the week. And right now he has Alan Worley in a bad position. Submission maneuver here. I mean, can you really beat this kind of action for only five dollars at the village shops? I don't see where you can go to get this kind of entertainment for five dollars. Every other Sunday. 
And I didn't say $5. I said $5. Right. Absolutely. And Alan Worley fighting back to his feet. David Guevara back and forth. And you know David Guevara is raring to get his hands on George Rodriguez and finally get his rematch for the DWI Heavyweight Championship. You know that, but he better not look past the Alan Worley or he might just lose that number one contender spot. And Alan Worley just standing on his throat. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe Alan Worley has David Guevara reeling like this. Look, up in the air, huge body slam. And he's strutting. He's celebrating as he makes his way to the second rope. And he's going for the diving head, but David Guevara rolls out of the way. <laughs> All he meets is the mat. It's not every day Alan Worley takes to the ropes for diving headbutts. That, and it's probably a good idea if he doesn't, if that's the outcome. The and Rebel Gorilla back to his feet. And fired up. I think he's looking to put this one to bed. He hooks him. Big double underhook butterfly suplex. Worley not done yet. Still some fight left in him. Way too tough to just go down just like that. And both men laying it all at the line. Back and forth. Just punching each other. DWI Volume 191. What a show it's been. And Alan Worley sends David Guevara for the ride. And it's not over yet. Oh. It might be after that. And David Guevara could be out. Took his head off. Still only managed to get the two with that elbow. But I don't know how David Guevara is even conscious after that. It's the resilience of the Rebel Guerrilla. And we're almost at a stalemate here. Both men down. The audience telling Worley to shut up. And if David Rivera could get to his feet and capitalize here, he could turn this matchup around. But instead, Alan Worley uh, looks to be fighting back. Looks like he's going for a belly-to-back suplex. David Rivera fights out of it. Russian leg sweep. Is it safe to say he learned that at the Academy of Wrestling Sciences? I believe so. I believe it is safe to say. And a two count near fall, but unable to hold him down for three with the Russian leg sweep. And once again, David Rivera is fired up. And he's taunting Moondog. No. Did you see how hard that punch was? He just punched him right in the mouth. Yeah, I believe that was for the fib that just came out of it. And are we going to see it here? Stick a fork in him. He's done. That's a David Guevara signature power bomb. Right on the back of his neck. And that's the one, two, three for the number one contender getting the victory over Alan Worley. David Guevara on a roll, looking to get his rematch against George Rodriguez. And just let out a little frustration on Alan Worley here at DWI right now, episode 25. He wants him the Punisher. Speaking of the Punisher, it's the main event, DWI, volume 191. The DWI heavyweight champion and media champion going up against David Guevara's partner. The other half of the Rebel Gorillas, Lightning Monroe. And this is, is for the DWI Social Media Championship. Remember, George Rodriguez cost the Rebel Gorillas in the DWI Tag Team Tournament when he hit David Guevara in the belt. That's right, that's right. They had the rise set on Tag Team Championship gold. Lightning Monroe saw his partner fall. 
against the Rebel Gorilla, or against, pardon me, the Punisher, saw all of the uh, interference he was causing in uh, Guevara's matches and said, hey, I, I want a shot at the Punisher. I think I want a shot. Get some redemption for me and my boy here. And George Rodriguez having to defend both of those belts. What better way? DWI, right now, episode 25. DWI original Lightning Monroe, two-time tag team champion against the Mexican Punisher. Yeah, I believe Lightning Monroe made his first appearance at DWI number nine or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. That was a long time ago. And George Rodriguez just tried to stomp on Lightning Monroe's head. Lightning Monroe moved and the assault on the leg starts. Very veteran maneuver from Lightning Monroe to attack the leg. Take the legs out of the big man. I mean, I know firsthand how much a knee injury can take you out of a matchup. And there's no technique. There's no pretty. Oh, my goodness. I was going to say there was no technique, no, no, nothing about that. Those were just straight kicking the leg out of George Rodriguez. and George Rodriguez. Moved the leg. And yeah, one too many lining. times and just took his head off. Now, that me and you both big, have been giant head, but looking like he's in firm control right now, Lightning Monroe. What was that you were going to say there? Me and you have both been victims of how vicious George Rodriguez could be. Yes, like this that right there. This run that he has been on in DWI. Ripping the back here out of Lightning Has been un unmatched in DWI history. Yes, but not, not only that, but it's kind of orchestrated. I mean, he has really manipulated every situation. This guy... He he, he he was in, in DWI in the beginning. He he has been in DWI since, I believe, one or two. Uh, but then he was injured, and he spent some years, off, like, healing. He, he got a leg Away injury. Away from the business. He left, decided he wanted to come back. And ever since his return, he knew what he wanted. He knew what he was going to do to get there. And every turn... He is made. He's not faring too well right now. I mean, Lightning Monroe is really, you know, doing a great job keeping him grounded and, you know, working on that leg, which again I just mentioned he had hurt. So, but ever since his return, he has really he's aligned himself with the right people who have helped him. The sinful alliance yeah. you're alluding to. Yeah, I mean he. he I mean. But it seemed orchestrated. It seemed like when he came back, he came back with a game plan that was take out anyone in my path. Hey. And he was going for championship but, gold. But not even that. He is oh, big heel kick to the face. Not only that, though. He he's manipulated the office. He's manipulated the matches. He's preyed on emotion. Yeah, I mean, look how he got the multimedia championship from you. He knew exactly how to suck you in. He right. knew he was going to get that. He got the result he wanted, and <laughs> he got you. I mean, he got David Guevara almost the same way. I mean. His matchup was a little bit longer than the 15 seconds or less that mine might have lasted. But David two, dis two no disqualification matchups, both titles, and now he owns both of them. Yeah, I think he, it speaks for itself. He learned by watching you, David Vera did. Learned by watching you. He didn't make that mistake. Oh, oh my goodness. That is huge. That is a big, big man. Come springboard leg drop. It's Off the second rope, just diving. 325 six pounds. Yeah, six foot six, six foot seven, flying, landing right on your head, and Lightning Monroe is in a bad situation. He's six foot eight, man. He's huge. George Rodriguez is six foot eight. That is a big man, dude. Six foot six, six foot eight. And George Rodriguez arguing with Ray Riviera. He seems to have a personal disdain for Ray specifically. I mean, he doesn't like officials, but he really doesn't like Ray. Have you ever noticed that in his matches? That's because Ray is a ref. Oh my goodness. Ray needs to check on Lightning. I don't Lightning know. Monroe could be unconscious here. Remember, this match is for the DWI Social Media Championship. Lightning Monroe could win Light that right now. Lightning's been grounded. He got it, folks. He, he giggled. <laughs> And the Mexican Punisher, George Rodriguez, shoots Lightning Monroe off, goes oh. for the big boot. Lightning oh, Monroe took out his leg. Beautifully done. That was that. That's what you call desperate. That was a and veteran paid maneuver. Off. Right back to the leg, right back to it. 
And how strong is that leg? You you mentioned earlier that George Rodriguez suffered a devastating leg injury. Well, when he how? came when he came back, he came back 100% physically. But when you sustain an injury of that magnitude, you know there's always a mental, you know, a mental scar even deeper than the physical scar because of what it did, what how long it took you to come back. You know, it's not only like your wrestling career, but it affects your life, you know. Absolutely. And Lightning Monroe just wrenching on the leg, wrenching on the knee, wrenching on the ankle, and taking the legs out of the current DWI Heavyweight and Social Media Championship. Again, for all of the pain and suffering that he's caused him and his friend, I don't think he cares. Oh, the strength of George Rodriguez on display there as he just kicks, shrugs him off. And Lightning Monroe knows he has to stay on the Mexican Punisher. Don't give him any room. And there goes those kicks. He's not so big if he's laying on his back. And he just dropped the elbow on the leg, and that could be it. He might have injured the leg right there. He's trying to pull the knee out. And the Mexican Punisher in a bad situation here. DWI, volume 191. He's down there writhing in pain right now. You know the Mexican Punisher doesn't want to lose one of his championships in the main event of the seven-year anniversary show. I don't think his ego could handle that. I don't believe so either. And George Rodriguez. Some might, yeah, some might think that this is a little bit of a uh, lopsided match that Lightning Moreau doesn't have a... St oh, oh, oh. In the power category, Lightning Monroe doesn't stand a chance, but everywhere else he does. Cunning, ring savvy. Yeah, his ring awareness. Yeah, I mean, Lightning Monroe really does stand a chance. He has the experience of being in there with almost anyone as, that's come through DWI. Yeah, as long as he can stay away from the power of George Rodriguez, which, as you see over the last few seconds, he has not been able to. Finding himself on the ground yet again. And like Moreau still on the mat, still say. fighting, still fighting. He knows the social media championship is on the line, and he also wants to get revenge for George costing them their tag team championship tournament spot. And what is this? What is this? Yeah, torture, torture rack. rack. And that is a painful place to be. And he is just taunting the fans while carrying Lightning Monroe back and forth, just wrenching it in. He's telling the referee to ask him. Well, he's already got him up. There's only one way to go from here. And that should be it. That was an incredible maneuver from the Mexican Punisher. And George Rodriguez arguing with senior referee Ray Riviera. Lightning Monroe is down. If he would just stay on the attack, it could be over here. But jaw jacking with the referee. And see, that's a veteran maneuver. He took went right back to the leg. He's been working on it. Don't deviate from your plan. Took the legs right back out from underneath him. Again, if he's not standing, he's not as powerful as he is. And he's locked in the spinning wow. toe hold here, but is he going to go for the figure four leg lock? Everyone knows how devastating a hold the figure four leg lock is. And if Lightning Monroe could lock it in here on the Mexican Punisher, he could walk out the new DWI There's social some media Big legs champion. he's trying to lock it in on. I believe he's got a slight bit of, he's got it in slightly. There's his partner cheering him on, come out to cheer him on. The Rebel Gorilla seeing his tag team partner out there comes out to cheer him on. Lightning Monroe is not uh, too shy to break the rules a little bit. And George Rodriguez just noticed the Rebel Gorilla at ringside. This could work as a distraction. There goes Lightning Monroe hanging back onto the ropes. Getting a little bit of uh, extra leverage himself. Ray Riviera asking if he's cheating and he's like no why would you ask him that he's going to admit to it now what would it mean for Lightning Monroe to capture the DWI social media championship yeah, that would George be Rodriguez. huge that would be huge 
that would be a huge upset, and that would catapult him in the rankings and with the DWI Championship Committee. Because once you have the social media championship, you're you're kind of in line for a heavyweight title spot, you know, to get that match. George Rodriguez continuously telling Dave Guevara to shut up in Spanish for all of you. And it looks like he's trying to use that Out there Mexican not Punisher well. body. He's trying to get him over and reverse the pressure here. And he got it. He's got him over. Landon Moreau going to be forced to break that hold, that figure four there, or else suffer. I and he's got the rope. How much does that take out of George Rodriguez there and how much out of Lightning Monroe, the reverse there? Well, Lightning Monroe has been on the attack on the leg the entire match. He, since the beginning, he's been attacking that leg. He's stuck to his game plan. He has George Limpin. He could he could win the social media championship right now. I believe he's on the cusp of doing that right now with the support of all oh, big forearm. And the Mexican Punisher... Shoots Lightning Monroe into the corner. Big big gut shot and then proceeds to choke him. Now I, I still cannot believe the run that George Rodriguez has been on. As he has words with the number one contender for the heavyweight title, David Guevara, ringside. But he really, he has beaten everyone on Lightning Monroe looking to steal one right here. Oh, almost had him. I thought he had him there for us. Oh, it's Lightning Monroe. Wall runs right into that big boot of George Rodriguez. And oh. there's a huge spear. And I believe that that is it. Turn out the lights. The fiesta's over. What an amazing matchup in the main event of DWI, Volume 191. You know, you got to take your hats off to Lightning Moreau. He really, oh, my God, as George Rodriguez just mounts him and starts punching him in the face. Dave Guevara jumps in there. Hey, I think I got to go handle this. I need to go out there. Man, yeah, go wreak some order, man. There goes my partner. He's about to head out there right now. Yeah, grab the mic. Over there, bro. George Rodriguez. Dave Guevara just beating the snot out of each other. These guys have no love lost. There's, or, tell them, break it up. Break it up. Clearly. He's telling them if they don't break it up right now, they're going to be suspended. This has been going on for quite a while here at DWI. Between these two. George Rodriguez always in the midst of something. Always making somebody's day horrible. Well, you hear that? He's telling him enough. Enough is enough. They've been causing ruckuses. Locker room brawls, and and the office has had it. Lightning Monroe trying to keep David Guevara from hitting George Rodriguez and losing his number one contendership. And George Rodriguez realizing that if David Guevara hits him, and he will lose that title shot, thus eliminating him from the equation. So begging him to hit him. David Guevara looking like there was nothing more he'd love to do than punch him square in the face. Green telling him if he doesn't want to lose that title shot, he needs to stand down right now. Seems like common sense is getting the better of him. George Rodriguez won't stop trying to antagonize the situation.
George Rodriguez demanding back his titles. Man, I tell you what, anytime those two get together, it's a volatile situation here at DWI. That was one heck of a match. Lightning Monroe really put up a fight. I gotta take my hat off to him, but ultimately, the punisher, George Rodriguez, standing tall as the champion still here at DWI. Him and George, or excuse me, him and Dave Guevara, man, when they go at it, it's going to be crazy. It's what a crazy. matchup we just witnessed at DWI right now, episode 25. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at DWI Wrestling. Peace. We are out.